Has and Meg Catch 22 Situation. Sussex's plan to come back UK in spring with Project Invictus Games. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are expected to return to the UK in the spring, because the Duke of Sussex has the Invictus Games in the Netherlands. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back as senior royals nearly two years ago and moved to the US. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, they have been unable to come back to the UK as a family, although Harry made two brief trips last year – one for his grandfather Prince Philip's funeral and one for the unveiling of the Princess Diana statue with Prince William. Meghan and her son Archie, meanwhile, have not set foot on UK soil since the move, and the couple's daughter Lilibet has never been. Lilibet has also yet to meet any of her father's side of the family including her grandparents Prince Charles and Camilla, and great-grandmother, the Queen. Pod Save the Queen is hosted by Anne Gripper and features Daily Mirror royal editor Russell Myers. Mr Myers pointed out that Harry will be going to Northern Europe for the Invictus Games this year, which is scheduled to take place between May 29 and June 5. The Games, which were founded by Harry himself, See sick and injured military personnel and veterans compete in adaptive sports. They were originally supposed to be taking place in The Hague in 2020, but the event was postponed twice due to COVID-19. If the games go ahead this year dash and do not have to be postponed yet again dash there will be a crossover in the dates with the Queen's Platinum Jubilee weekend, which the Sussexes are expected to attend. Mr Myers argued that if Harry is in Europe anyway, he is likely to go and visit his family. What's more, Meghan and the children are also expected to attend the Invictus Games, which would mean they will likely accompany Harry to the UK. Mr Myers said, it's been a busy year and it probably is a good time to let this year go, see what happens in the new year and hopefully we will see them back in the UK. Because Harry has got the Invictus Games, fingers crossed, in May slash June, so one would assume he will come back and see his family. And again, one would assume Meghan will come to the Invictus Games as well, with the children. So, I think that that's probably a fair bet to say that we may see them in the springtime next year. But who knows? When Meghan and Harry first stepped down from their royal roles, they said they would split their time between the UK and North America. However, as their decision came just as the pandemic rocked the world, they have not been able to travel as freely as they would probably have liked. This means they have spent 100% of their time in California instead of splitting. However, as the world gets to grips with how to handle COVID and travel restrictions ease, they are expected to spend more and more time in the UK as well. In the meantime, they have been working on a whole series of projects. As part of a £100 million deal with Netflix, Harry has been working on a behind-the-scenes docuseries about the Invictus Games called Heart of Invictus. Starring in front and behind the camera, the Duke has taken the opportunity to highlight the great work of the charitable cause and some of the inspiring athletes involved. Meghan has been working on an animated children's series called Burl, which she is creating alongside David Furnish, husband of Sir Elton John. Sir Elton was famously friends with Princess Diana and has remained fiercely protective of her sons, even to the point of publicly defending Harry against criticism over his private jet use. 2022 is gearing up to see the monarchy at the center of nationwide celebrations as Britain marks one of the most significant milestones in royal history. The Queen reaching 70 years on the throne a landmark she will pass in the early hours of February 6, 2022, makes her the first British monarch ever to have a platinum jubilee. The central celebrations, planned for an extended weekend in June, have been billed by organisers as a reopening ceremony for the UK following Covid. However, just as the pandemic brings us repeated twists and turns that make large-scale gatherings an uncertainty, the monarchy also faces challenges that were not there when flags waved for the Diamond Jubilee a decade earlier.